If I need your help badly, are you willing to lend me a hand? Your initiative may really matter whether a life can continue to go on. The bear in front of us, if it hadn't met a kind-hearted person, it might not have sat on the ground so peacefully. And it couldn't experience the beauty of the future. The stagnation of the wind is not the result of clouds blocking its way or rain intercepting it in the air, but of the vegetation on the ground gradually blocking the wind before it finally becomes smaller. The game between forces is often not as simple as we see from the surface, if we are willing to take out some energy, if we are willing to spend some thought, the world will really be more beautiful than we can imagine. In a forest in Turkey, the lush trees all around give people a very nice feeling and can instantly play a meditative effect. The so-called meditation is not a quiet mind, but a willingness to gradually fade away the boredom and unhappiness in the fickle world, putting all the cohesion of body and mind in the lush woods. Looking at the group of trees with vitality, we can't help but sigh, live to the sun, walk to the light, that's it. The bear should also be fascinated by all the beauty of the woods. Although it was very playful, the boring times seemed to become so vivid when facing the nature. The bear walked silently through the woods, it inhaled the fresh air. The beauty of letting things develop naturally seemed to make it more enjoyable to be lazy. It thought everything would continue quietly like this, but the accident still happened. Perhaps here was an animal trap deliberately made by hunters, because there were animal fallen in the trap before, so all the dangerous things in the hole had been taken away in advance, and now all that remained was a large empty hole. Although the bear had very great strength, it had no way to climb up from this big hole. Seeing that it was getting dark, it was something else to see the starry sky in the hole. As the sun rose the next day, the bear was in a bit of a hurry, and the hunger in its belly was so great that it was a little weak. The bear kept touching the soft, sticky soil with its paws, but its body had entered the ground in a big way, and it still had no way to get out. It wasn't until a worker passed by here that he found the poor little bear. He then rushed to call the rescuers. And soon a professional rescue team arrived here and developed a complete plan based on the site conditions. The rescue work began to be implemented immediately. The bear was trapped in the dirt and couldn't move, and even though its initial attitude toward the rescuers was repulsive, it didn't seem to have a better way to stop the bad situation. It looked helplessly at the rescuers, and the distrust in its eyes was obvious. The bear's body was heavy, and trying to save it without harm was not an easy task. The rescuers had previous experience with similar rescues. So they slowly controlled the bear's body first, and the rescue work could only be carried out if the bear did not resist. The bear finally showed signs of coming around at this time. It should have thought that the rescuers would not do anything to hurt it, so when the rescue tools touched it, the bear did not resist again, but was very active with it. Soon the excavator slowly dug the bear up from the hole, part of its fur had been wrapped in soft soil and its appearance was similar to the beggar's chicken. The bear was successfully rescued and its eyes were widely open as if it wanted to remember the people who had saved it. It was then cleaned briefly and examined by a professional doctor who confirmed that there was nothing wrong with its body, but that its stomach had flattened significantly after a long period of time without eating food. The rescuers rushed to take out some food from the car, and the bear ate the delicious food, the joy on its face was unconcealed. The bears live an uncontested life. They can maintain a normal heart in the face of any complex environment outside, the patient style of them should be the envy of many other people. Like this raccoon, it was also trapped in a cave, and even though most of its body had been buried, it didn't cry out and it still kept its posture when it was completely trapped. One morning in Texas, Dayton and Liron came to the jungle to explore as promised. Previous experiences let them have a different feeling for the forest, where they could encounter many incredible things. And even many things that had happened around them in hindsight when they would feel like a dream. Everything seemed so unreal, the development and end of many things simply would not go on like their logical thinking. The weather was not too cold, the climate which was not dry refreshed them. And this was the first time for them to this adventure site, 
so they felt extraordinarily excited. The two of them walked in the jungle, talking and laughing. Then they noticed something incredible, a raccoon would be trapped there. Its whole body almost had sunk into the earth. According to the surrounding environment, this should have been a trap or something like that before. The empty cave had accumulated a lot of dust for a long time without using it, and the soil inside the cave was accumulating more and more, but it was too fine and soft. So the raccoon accidentally fell into the trap when it passed through here. It looked like the raccoon had been trapped here for a long time, its body had been buried for a long time, it had made it a little difficult to breathe. Dayton and Leron came forward and saw that the raccoon did not have any shouting, its eyes looked straight at the two people who appeared in front of it. It did not have any frightened expression, only a face of peace. When walking in front of the raccoon, Dayton and Leron felt very incredible. The raccoon was not afraid of them. And it did not shout in the face of this bad external environment, its pride like this was really inscrutable. Then Dayton and Leron rushed to call his father, they worked together should be able to save the raccoon out of the cave. Seeing the three of them anxiously going back and forth in front of it, the raccoon waited quietly, not resisting or actively cooperating, just waiting in the dirt. Finally, with the three of them working together, a large section of the raccoon's body came out. And it was obvious that the raccoon was breathing much more smoothly than before. Immediately afterwards, the three of them continued their efforts and finally saved the raccoon from the cave. Initially the raccoon still had a proud look on its face, but when it found itself saved, its face slowly transformed, not only with a slight smile, but also with its icy face showing its teeth. Because its body had been suppressed by the dirt for a long time, it currently looked less than aesthetically pleasing, and even its smooth fur had lost its former luster. Under the sun, the appearance of the dirt surrounding its body became more graphic. The raccoon liked to be hygienic, it first popped the mud on its body, then its body shook vigorously for some time, finally the mud had faded a lot, its smooth fur finally reappeared, and its gaze was much warmer than before. After being rescued, the raccoon did not rush to leave, but stayed in place quietly. It looked at the three people, as if it wanted to express its gratitude to them at this time. It turned to look at the green trees, and later twisted its body to look at the three people around it. When it was time to leave, the raccoon looked at the rescuers around it with gratitude in its heart, and then it walked with dignity toward the woods behind. They should go on the trip, the task of adventure was not over, encountering raccoon was only a good beginning. The next time there would be a lot of unknown things. Although it would be risky, if they do not take a try, Dayton and Liron would feel the loss of the meaning of the trip. Alright, that's all for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to likes and comments if you like. We will continue to bring you more touching stories about animals. See you next time.